Yo, what's going on, guys? Just wanted to give a quick little disclosure um, about a pirate guide that I tried to make. I already know what some of you are going to say is that you can probably mash a bunch of buttons with pirate and still get a win, which is arguably pretty true. I mean, you could pretty much do that. But uh, you'll see it's not your average guide. As I'm playing the matches, I explain uh, what to do and how to react to it and stuff like that. And um, it, it works out pretty well. You'll, you'll see in the video. Um, and towards the end, I go a little bit more in depth, but it's nothing crazy. I mean, you could always just look at her moveset and figure it out. But uh, someone mentioned this a while back, and I was like, you know what? It might be pretty fun to, to try it out. But uh, regardless, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you. Yo, what is going on, guys? I hope you all are doing well. Today, I am attempting to bring out the ultimate pirate guide. Don't forget. Stay hydrated, okay? Don't forget to stay hydrated. Why would I say that? Well, it's merely because. Oh, thought we could trade it out. Wait for light. Yep, there it is. Let it go. Go for it again. I'm gonna go for it again. Okay. So that's great. You know, that's exactly what we're looking for. Okay. <laughs> that's great. Uh, but yeah, I say don't forget to stay hydrated because last night I was playing, and I just didn't drink water. And uh, I was a real goober, so I suffered from it. Now, let us begin. The ultimate pirate guy. Now, how do you play pirate? Well, quite simple. Pirate, you can mash an infinite amount of buttons and probably win. Okay. Let me just... Let me concentrate, even though there's not really any concentrating. The pirate, follow up light. Yep. Okay, there we go. So it's pirate. Yeah, I mean she's you know, pretty straightforward. Um, a lot more stuff to to have in depth. But Round I mean, I'm three. telling you guys, she is one of the characters, one of the few characters, or however you want to consider it. Maybe a lot of characters. You can hit just about any button and be successful. She's got hyper armor on the heavies. She's got a in chain bash. She's got dodge recoveries. Like, look at this. See if I can. There's a kick. Another kick. We'll do it again. Nope. Okay, he's throwing out a lot of lights. A lot of, a lot of lights. Gotta parry them. If I can. Just let it go. No. We'll do it again. Nope. In fact, it was a heavy. Very great. All right, on the next, we'll concentrate more on a uh, guide, I guess. All right, so we have a shaman. Now, this will be tricky, because uh, maybe she'd go for a lot of uh, dodge attacks or stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, just like that. So maybe, maybe we can catch her. Catch her lacking. Light, nope, light, nope, uh-oh. Trade it out, let it go. Oh no. Right there, I could have not recovered. Unfortunate. That's what I'm looking for. Uh-oh. Oh, we got caught lacking right there. Unfortunate. Not your average guide, I know. Um... Uh, not that I want to make the title misleading. I don't want it to be. But it's not your average guide. I want to kind of describe just a little bit of things as I'm playing her. So you can see it in action. So maybe we could do one of these. Because you can do an infinite amount of those. Let's just keep chaining with these. Nope. I would like to get a bit more. Made out of dodge attack? No. I want to get a bit more of these right there. Go for another one. We'll go for one more. Like that. So with her, you gotta understand, she has, she can initiate an unblockable from neutral to a finisher that that doesn't even finish. I mean, it's just more of an in-chain unblockable. You can keep going with that. It's the same input if you use a 
gladiator skewer. You can guard break in the middle of that skewer, said skewer, for pirate. And you can get a, uh... Uh-oh. And you get that pistol blast right there. Going for a lot of option selects, so... We might be able to get away with letting some more of these go. Not that one. Oh, maybe so. Let it go. Let it go. Victory. But that's going to be the highest damage output for her attack. Rather than uh, this right here, which is a dodge forward heavy. It's unblockable. Uh, used to have a soft faint on it, but now it doesn't, so you got to hard faint that. That doesn't give a lot of damage. A decent amount of pressure, you know. But if you can get in your chain, you know, dodge, dodge attack here. No. Okay, I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna go for it again. Just keep going for him, you know. No follow-up lights after the uh, after the bleed, which is interesting enough. Dodge here. Oh. Keep going for it. Keep going for it like that. I mean, the Victory. unblockable pressure. It's uh, it's unreal. But before I end this video, I'm probably going to explain it just a little bit better. So, All right, so we are in the training range, just to give a quick little showcase. Uh, not really much here, but instead of you guys opting for the dodge forward heavy every time, which you can keep chaining, doesn't give too much damage, even after, you, after the follow-up pistol blast. You know, you can keep doing that. You're better off going for the uh, in-chain unblockable, just like that, where you move back a little bit and then put the heavy in the middle of this pin. You can spam your guard break button. You don't have to really time it crazy. Just spam it. Go for a pistol blast, and you just keep chaining it, just like that. However, if your opponent has their back to the wall, we get this uh, bot to go behind us. Be great. Then you can... Uh, Get him a little bit closer. There we go. So, he has his back to the wall. Just input that. Automatically hit the wall. And just keep your chain going. What I mean is, keep going like that. Now, you can't, after the uh, knee into the wall, you cannot chain back into your... You can't chain into this after the wall splat. Your chain actually ends there. So, I mean... If you guys want to opt for the pistol blast to the face, keep going for that. You know, and if you think someone's going to go for a dodge or a whatever, you can soft faint it. It's pretty neat. But, I mean, if you just want to stuff him, you know, if they're going to try to light interrupt you, just go for it. You know, let it rip. And if they opt for a, uh, a dodge attack, you can still let it go. And because of her dodge recoveries, even though I didn't do it great, um, pretty much you can let it go like this. And you can dodge it, you know. Um, I have to configure the bot, but nothing crazy. So, but that is pretty much it. You're better off going for that rather than this here. Because uh, this used to be forward dodge heavy. Used to be feignable. Or, uh, you know, you could soft feign it. Now you got to hard feign it. Which is okay, you know. But it definitely was better before. But less damage. So, that'll be it. Nothing crazy. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.